go. Hello and welcome to this Eyes of Harmony podcast. First thoughts on Arachnids in the UK, episode four of a recent series of Doctor Who. Comrade, your thoughts. Okay, so um, this episode, out of any of the ones we've had so far, has felt most like a traditional Doctor Who episode. But at the same time, it wasn't necessarily taking from the most interesting it felt it felt like um to me like kind of a series two or three episode but not one of the ones you necessarily remember off the bat Mm. bit like idiot's lantern yeah something along those lines because it i mean it had its moments sort of but i mean it's not really one that's gonna stick with me for very long i don't think there's nothing really that special about it it was a series two episode with not trump basically <laughs> is what, exactly what that was yeah. and it's like okay which is strange i was thinking about this because like they had they they name dropped trump but it's like they've always had weird not presidents like they had president winters back in like well um sound of drums and whatnot i mean how does that work yeah i'm not gonna get too baby into that because that's off topic um <laughs> It, that is that is actually an interesting. They always used fake, and now they're just going with the real. Interesting. Except for supposedly he's running present next time, so they're going to go back to having a fake. So it's like twenty twenty. Well, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, they've left it open so even he could return. Like they keep leaving characters open to return. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But yeah, um, I was a bit sad he was very one dimensional. That guy. Um, because he was kind of more the main villain in some ways, rather than the spiders. Yeah, um, pretty much. It was... but the spiders usually aren't the villains, really, in anything. Well, well, in most things, really. Planet of the Spiders, but yeah. yeah. They were evil in that one, the John Pertwee one. Yeah. They were just yes. baddies. But yeah, um, i got to say, I was at least kind of freaked out by the spiders. I did find it uncomfortable at times, like, you know, they are gross looking and... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think that probably helps because um I really have no fear of spiders at all. So I just looked at it. It's just like with it slightly off. Well, the CG itself wasn't technically bad. It just wasn't blended into its environment mm, very well. Yeah. But yeah, you know, just to me, I I, ju- I just couldn't get frightened of these things at all. Like it just. just I, you know, I I could yeah. I wasn't frightened, but I was like a bit like oh. That's not, a bit unnerved. That's, yeah, especially when they're on the ceiling. Things on the ceiling always freak me out. Um, mm. But yeah, I, I mean, performances were fine. Sets were fine. I thought it was. It was. It wasn't bad. It was just. There wasn't no, much. It really wasn't. Like I said, it. it was a. It's a. It's an okay bog standard series two or three episode. It's kind of I one think, that's just kind of. I mean, it works being right after Rosa because that was very heavy and and you know. Um, yeah. This one was like a, a, it was like a back to basics. It was like the Green Death meets presidential business stuff. Was what's, it really what's the Green story? Death? The Green Death actually has some depth, even if it was a bit. It's a bit <laughs> ecoy, wasn't it? This episode about like don't use landfill sites and businessmen yeah. are bad. At all well, business well, I mean, no, I don't think it was just don't use landfill sites. It was just the way he was doing it more I than anything so. else, I guess. You know, having having it one as a city, and you know, I mean, that wouldn't be bad in any in any scenario, really. <laughs> one bit I actually laughed at was when the bodyguard got dragged down the bath hole, and his legs just looked really like fake, like. His foot wobbled in such a way that was obvious it wasn't an actual, wasn't. like an actual just human. A dummy. It was just a dummy. <laughs> it made me yeah, laugh it was. A th- this wasn't like we've been generally praising a lot of the design aspects of this series, but this episode was a little off, really. I think this was like, one this, of the, the, spiders... the cheaper the... episodes for the series. Yeah. I, well, yeah, there, there's actually so yeah, I haven't laughed that much at this series for the most part. The what the one that, that did make me laugh was um the whole. Um, you know, they're, they're going off and everything, and it just cuts back to the dinner table. <laughs> it's just like, 30 minutes now, they'll be back. Or whatever that was. That I, was I laughed at that. Point. Um, I liked, oh, the new Time Vortex. Now that was a cool bit of CG. 
With the yeah. TARDIS well, it was interesting because the... they, they did the whole... Well, they did it at a very low frame rate. through the top of a TARDIS and, like, the column. That was really cool. Yeah, that was... That was... That design aspect was cool. It's not... Know. If I was going to rewatch the, the series, it wouldn't be one that I skipped. I no. would I would watch no. it. I think if it was one I'd skip, it would probably be the Ghost Monument at this point. Yes, agreed. Agreed. So it's not it's not a bad episode. Again, it's just it's just not much. It, it's, really, it's 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 junk food. You know, yeah. that's, it, it's just it's just something to keep. You, it's nothing you think too deep about. But it's just some. You know, it's just a bit of Doctor Who content to keep your brain going. It's not something you actively dislike, but it, you know, at the same time, it's not exactly doing any good necessarily. I still feel Yaz is under. I thought this would be really Yaz's episode, but it wasn't really. It was a bit more, I guess. <laughs> but they still concentrated but... on like Graham not coping with the grief and and Ryan's dad. You know, they were still yeah, building on that one. That's still that's still the more interesting plot, really. I know. It's like I feel a bit sorry for Yaz. To be honest, we just... we got we got more about um, Yaz's mum than we got about Yaz in this episode. I know. <laughs> just just forget about Yaz. Let's get Yaz's mum on board. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, she had a good line where she said to the guy, "Oh, you're not my boss." That was a good line. Yeah, that was a good comeback. That was. That was. Yeah, I like the end scene actually, where they all went back into the TARDIS and then they all pulled yeah. the lever. That was a very nice moment. Yeah, well, and you know, and I like especially like Graham. That's it's such a different reasoning for somebody coming aboard the TARDIS. You know, to cope with grief. That's not been done before. They just most companions just come because usually because they just want to. Usually. Yeah. Especially like Tegan, who's just being dragged along. But, you know, he, he actually wants to be there, but there's, like, a different reason for it, which is interesting. I think we'll continue to see Grace a bit sometime, yeah. maybe? Or do you think sure, it'll only happen sure. when they're back in Sheffield? Oh, uh, no, I think he'll get fragments of stuff somewhere. I, th- I, th- I think it's just maybe if something resonates with him or connects, maybe he, you know... You hear that reminds him a bit. Maybe he'll it'll pop into his head occasionally. Mm. Um, it's weird to think next week we're halfway through the season. Yeah, Already. I think we should do a video talk about that. She just kind of a, maybe a mid-season review or something. Mm. It would be interesting, but that's kind of really. Yeah, we've barely got say. seven minutes in. Wow, <laughs> it was just it's just a okay episode and. Yeah, so again, it's not. It's not. I like the bit again, when they were like, uh, "Oh, I didn't check the ceiling," and then it was like mm, the massive one there. The, that the was, massive. That was like, oh, uh, yeah. Mm. But yeah, yeah, that's kind of it. I think so far my rankings would be first place Rosa, then the woman who fell to earth, then the Arachnids in the UK, then the Ghost Monument. That would be my ranking agreed. so far. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? You know? that's, that's kind of. That's kind of. That's, this has been a very underwhelming thing. <laughs> Not much to say. It's, it's just yeah. We just. I'm so sorry if you expected more from us. Like, how, how long has our upper ones been? Like a, twenty what, minutes, we, half an hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this is just we're done in eight minutes. It's just nothing to say about this. <laughs> it's, it's, Oh um, my god! Uh, anything else? Um, I. It's because the issue is, is spiders, I was, I was a bit. There's just not much uh, to talk about them. Like they don't have any character traits or anything. Then there's not like. a lot of depth. They're just, in fact, they're not even like alien spiders or anything. They're just, they're just spiders. Directing so was good actually. Um, yeah. By Sally. I mean, that's, um, th- that's I think been the that's her oh, first. I hit just hit my microphone. Yeah, that's been a consistent, you know. I mean, it's continued to keep with this whole cinematic look of everything. Um, I wasn't quite as impressed with it as I was in other weeks, though, I'd have to say. Um, it didn't quite strike me as much. Well, she's directing episode 8, so I guess we'll see. Maybe she has Maybe. more to work with. Um, I, I feel like perhaps in a lot of cases this episode was too bright really mm, um possibly i think it should have been a lot more spiders because like, i think that would have masked a lot of the cg i mean there was a few moments where it tried to be a lot darker but um i think in the main hotel especially it was way too light mm. and so the cg spiders not blending into their environment properly 
really stuck out in the bright light, whereas I think they could have masked that a bit if they did it in the dark. Um, so, yeah, that was not so great, but... Hmm. Anyway, so next week, the Su Sunaga. Sunaga Conundrum. A spacey one again, which I'm excited for. That'll be nice. Hopefully a better one than Ghost Monument. Mm. But that wasn't even really spacey. That was like five minutes of spacey and then we'll do a odd sand planet. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. And then, because we've seen very little footage of past this point. Yeah. Everything kind really of... every... Except for that whole series, all oh, here's all the guest stars segment. Yeah, except that. <laughs> but like the yeah, I think this is the next episode is about the last we saw of footage apart from all the these are, are all our guest stars. So episode seven <laughs> and eight, we have no clue what's going on in those ones. No, that'd be interesting. That'd and then be interesting. which finders will be a good historical one. We hope. Uh, well, well, yeah. And then... Uh, you don't know that I yet. I don't know yet. And then series 10, like episode 10. Like, what I love is we have no idea what's coming up. So it's cool. Because mm. I remember, Pretty like, much. with series 7 part 2, they released all the, all like, posters for all of them at once. And you're like, oh, you kind of knew what was coming up. And the issue And then, is... of course, in the last series, they spoil everything. <laughs> and when you know what's coming up, you're just looking forward to that. You're not, like... Not surprised. Yeah, I think that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Like each week, I'm just looking forward to the next week one instead of looking further ahead. Yeah, it was like I guess that would have how it's would have been. it's so weird because like you know it's kind of at least from my perspective, like, you know I've always been some someone who's always looked at dot two stuff on the internet, so I've always kind of known everything that was coming up always. But I imagine like for people who've been watching it since the classic series, I mean that was more prevalent to where you wouldn't necessarily except for whatever they had in the radio times or whatnot yeah. you, know, you wouldn't necessarily know it would only be a tiny next. bit in advance yeah more or less so yeah. it was like um series 10 i was looking forward to oxygen because it was jamie matthews and then the next one i was looking forward to was empress of mars that's episode nine you know like I was I was looking too further ahead. That was the issue. And the marketing mm. for this one, while I think it was lacking in some points, I think that also it's made me concentrate more on every single week's episode. Yeah, I, I, this is what I was saying before the series. I think it will help from a viewership perspective, but not so help them from a marketing perspective. That's what I felt. Although with the viewership for episode one, that hasn't really been the case. So I, yeah, you know, I eat mean, humble pie on that one. Although you know, viewership has been on a steady decline week. Well, week. F1 Formula One was on at the same time as Rosa, and I think stats. It, were... Which it, will make it interesting to see this one. It would be interesting. Well, I'm I'm waiting for Rosa's because um, we still got to wait for all the catch ups um, mm. for Rosa on iPlayer and stuff um, to come. Well, through. actually, it wasn't the ca the iPlayer. Well, the iPlayer difference for episode one was quite high. For episode two, it wasn't nearly as high as I was expecting. Really, it was. So oh, I was a bit surprised by that. Actually, just looking at it. What episode two so, was nine million. We shall see. I mean, I guess it's just interesting to see. Episode two was nine million. Sorry. Episode two was nine oh, million. Yeah. Sorry. So it only drops like a million. No, but, no, point nine six. Hmm. No, 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 I just meant the iPlayer. No, I, I just meant the iPlayer difference. I mean, the I, the iPlayer increase oh. was less than I was expecting for that. Compared to how it was, you know, I'm not saying no. Like I said, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was no, seven point just what I meant one was... one million overnight. Yeah. Yeah. And then the actual increase from the iPlayer wasn't as high, certainly nowhere near as high as the first. I mean, you wouldn't expect it to be as high as the first episode, but it was. Lower than I was expecting, so yeah, still waiting for for episode. Yeah, for Rosa, because the thing is, F one was at the same time, which like it it bashed like every single program, even Bake Off, and Strictly. Of course, so of we'll see, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see these ones, those. But anyway, yeah, comment below what you thought of of the arachnids in the uk i think it could have had a better line because it was more arachnids in sheffield really 
than the UK, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, no, yeah. Well, I guess they, well, they are in the UK. It just made it sound so, like a, a wider epidemic than it was, though. That's true. That is true. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not even catchy, so it wasn't even worth it for the name. <laughs> like, yeah, although I, I, I guess it's a bit more of a wild fool to say Arachnids in Sheffield. Like, there's a lot more, you know. Arachnids in itself is a bit of a mouthful. I know, they had aliens in London. <laughs> That's not that bad. So arachnids that in bad. Sheffield. Aliens in London are not difficult to say. Arachnids, not everyone is, you know, it's a bit more to it in terms of how you say it. Uh, and aliens Sheffield of has, London. It has more to say than it is in the UK, so it's a bit more of a mouthful. Mm. Arachnids of Sheffield. The Crimson or sorry, I'm just looking over titles. Oh, wow. Hope it's so it's so spider. weird though. It's so weird comparing the Moffat era to this new series. It's just like a completely different show. It's so decidedly different. Um like I said, well I, I again it, it just feels like they're really trying to turn back the clocks and more or less follow up the William Hartnell era. That's what it's felt like. The the more focus on talking than, you know, a lot more less action. The you know the yeah. I mean that's it's just that in general. It's just and the yeah, how the companions kind of, I just not somewhat work off each other a little bit. It's always if it, it feels like yeah again if they, what if you know Doctor Who was just the William Hartnell era and then they decided to reboot it in a similar formula now kind of. Yeah. It's like ignored the entirety of the middle of it. I just, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to go back to the Moffat era after this series. It would be like really weird because it's like, it feels very much also a bit Russell T Davies era. Oh. So it's like... But, but that's what I felt because I've been, I've been recently listening to, um because I, I recently bought the series two of the um 10th Doctor Adventures for Big Finish. Yeah. So I've been listening to that and of course that's Russell T Davies. It's just kind of been such a weird contrast to it. Although, you know, I, I, I guess it wasn't so bad because I'm kind of in some ways almost thinking of them as somewhat separate entities i mean i kind of had that impression going into it that it was something totally different you know so i, mm. I guess it hasn't been quite as much of a shock because i've kind of somewhat made them two separate entities in a way except not really but sort of yeah but anyway yeah it's late we need yeah. to sleep and we could probably go over this more in the midway review i think yeah this is something to we'll wait until next week and then we'll record record two i think but yes thank you very much for listening sorry it's been shorter than usual comment below what you thought subscribe well, again, i guess with our extended talks it hasn't it hasn't quite been so bad so, subscribe so you don't miss the next ones please thank you well unless you want to well yeah well then fuck off <laughs> rude <laughs> You're don't tell our audience like that <laughs> <laughs> all right catch you later boy boy <coughs> <coughs> mm.